This quiet street in the Buttonwood Bay suburb of Belize City will be ground zero for the next few days as Belize joins the region in remembering the late Cuban president, Fidel Castro. A book of condolences has been opened for visitors to sign for the next week following his death on Friday night. The Cuban national flag is at half staff and black bows adorn the building and the flag inside facing portraits of Castro and his brother, President Raul Castro. The legendary Fidel Castro's legacy is at turns complicated and simple, but for newly created Cuban ambassador to Belize, Her Excellency Lizette Perez Perez, this moment is most about a nation's sudden loss. We surprised with the news last uh, November the 25th at 10, 29, uh, when we knew about the death of our leader of the revolution, Fidel Castro was a very sad news of, for all the people of, the people of Cuba, um, for myself, for my family, for all of us, for the Cubans. Uh, because Fidel uh, is a symbol, is an icon of our revolution. Fidel is, uh, inspired all the Cubans uh, for many, many years to be a better people, to, to, know, to, to, to have a dignity, to have um, an to, to try to be a, a better person, to help others, to transmit solidarity to others, not only inside Cuba, also to other people in all around the world. In Belize and the Caribbean, examples of that philanthropy include the exchange of students on educational scholarship opportunities, particularly in medicine, and the sending of doctors from Cuba to other countries to both teach and study. Ambassador Perez has committed to expanding bilateral relations into new areas like culture and agriculture. We are helping with doctors here, with some scholarships, but we also keep, you know, the, the, the interchange and the, um, the, the flow of, of cooperation in other many areas, as agriculture, as culture. We know about the creation of house of cultures all around the Belize, and it was inspired in, inspired in the Cuba uh, culture system. Uh, we also um, try to, to help in the case of sport. But of all that we have, that is basically the development of human resources, we try to share with other people of the Caribbean, including Belize. Uh, we are, of course, it's a humble cooperation, but it's, it, it means a lot, but it, it means a lot for the people, and it's when we, that's why we consider that it's very important for Belize in this case. Ambassador Perez also noted Castro's support for a united Caribbean region, including Belize. I think that the Caribbean also received uh, his, uh, his, the shows of, solid, of solidarity of Cuba because of Fidel, because he, he was thinking all the time in the Caribbean, in the people of the war, in the, in the poor of the war. That's why we, for us, uh, we think that Fidel will be all, always alive because this, um, the, this spirit of solidarity, this spirit of a good and better person and help others will be always alive. And we believe on that. Cuba uh, all the time had been very close to the Caribbean in their struggle for the independence, in self-sovereignty, and, you know, uh, also we try to, to help the Caribbean in the, in, the, in the case of health care, in the case of education, in the case of sport, in areas when we can share uh, some experience. And it had been very useful for the Caribbean and for Cuba also because had cre had been creating linkage with all of our brothers in the Caribbean Sea. Cuba for us is part of the Caribbean uh, family, and we, we consider us as a part of all the CARICOM members. According to Ambassador Perez Perez, Belizeans and the world would best remember the fallen Comandante by following his exhortation to help and love others. I think that the best way to remember Fidel is to be a better person, is to be a very a good person to try to help others to try to 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 help to our even our our uh, family and to our kids 
uh, trying to to improve uh, there and try to to help there to be better people. This is the best homage that we can do to Fidel. This is the uh, because he always thank he always thank him to be a better person and in, and try to the war was a better place to live. I think that I can say that for me uh, this war is uh, is if we can th uh, see a better thing is because his life in many in many in many things because he always defend the social justice and this is a, a concept that we never can forget and we never can to to stop to defend for the social justice as the great man himself said it does not matter who condemns him history will absolve him Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.